Good evening, everyone. Unexpected video today for two, well, there's only one saw in shot, for two unexpected arrivals. Um, so, this is a Husqvarna 266 XP professional saw and came again from a really nice guy. Um, same elderly man, I've had, had a few saws and he's had a few from me and he wanted a 601 for 42 so the larger solo saw um, and a couple of mixing max and said would I take a couple of his saws which he has and I said yeah of course so one of them is this one 266 XP professional says he's not cut with it and it runs but it's slightly uh, slightly rich so heard it running make sure that's off and it has <laughs> fantastic compression I mean fantastic I think that bar is, is that an 18 or a 20 Oregon bar chain looks sharp but it's Again, he's an expert at these. He's got these down to the, well, nearly down to the nibs. Maybe one more sharpen left in it, but needs a new chain, really. And so from 1981, probably four and a half horsepower-ish. And I mean, they're gorgeous saws when they're running correctly. So, so they arrived yesterday and they are going up for sale today. And I'll do a quick walk around with the camera. So there's that one which other than a slight break on the underside, I'll go around with the camera, other than a slight break on the underside of the outside casing of the chain break cover, she looks really, really lovely. I mean, lovely. And then an unusual creature, which is same designated year, I think, from 81. This is the 266 SG, so heated grips, um, same displacement, both use I think a 50mm piston, 36mm stroke isn't it, 50mm piston I think, and non-working completely, has, well don't know about the lock switch because it doesn't work, but <laughs> fantastic compression, apparently no spark. I haven't managed to get around to checking it because it's only been in my possession a few hours. So, um, so no spark apparently, and other than that, it looks really, really complete. I took off the side cover to check one thing, which um, to see if there was the wiring for the inner coil, which runs to the heated grips, and the plug connection is there, but there's no wires coming to here or switch. I've taken off the little side handles and they do have the heating elements on the back of them and the main handle also has the snipped wires as well but this thing has a broken has a broken handle in two places but because it's a heated handle I'd be very tempted to get that welded and it's a lovely option to have one of these with heated grips and she's got fantastic compression so broken chain break let's get the camera on then. in fact i'll pause the video i'm going to take the covers off because i want to have a look myself as well back in a minute guys hi guys okay i've just taken off the covers we'll do a little baby walk around for these saws so She looks in beautiful condition, this saw, actually. She does. Um, <laughs> okay, I've just, I've just realised something else strange, which I didn't realise when I got them yesterday. Uh, so, gorgeous air filter. No brakes on the, the rear tank, I can see. Well, there's this break here on the underside of the cover, and this is the anomaly, I think on this saw and that makes sense now with the other one 
So here's the Oregon Guide bar. Chain catcher present. Spin her around. This horse looks lovely. Chain brake handle a little bit bent over, um, but chain brake working. And a really nice wrap on the on the main front handle, no damage at all. And top cover, all the screws present, no brakes on the plastic. Just a very pretty girl indeed. Really lovely. Looks like the original Mal barrel. And a gorgeous looking exhaust. So, just need to confirm something now. So, okay, so that's the 266 XP. And then this is the 266 SG. So, a little bit of scorching on the top cover and a crack in this bottom corner. Put that there. And the chain brake. Okay, so the strap is... Okay, so the mechanism is is jammed. So I've seen this before. So the chain brake strap is okay, but the chain brake itself is jammed, hence he's disassembled. And right, so I presume there's a few screws missing for that. And I think what he's done then, yeah, I would think, I'm pretty sure this handle arrangement actually is for the, is for the XP. I'm sure this is for for this saw in fact so he's swapped over I'm pretty sure the SG's had the metal handle and the XP's moved over to this to this plastic handle but it's the same fitment but okay that's something to bear in mind and then on to the the saw itself then the the SG just make out the serial number plate um, so plastic tank on the XP and on the SG is a, a mag alloy tank there's the brake on the handle this side, clutch present, studs look in good condition, exhaust looks good, there's a blanking plug there on top where presumably it had a, or could have a decompression valve, move that around, and the brake on the underside has had a join, and there's the, just see those two little fly leads there, for the heated handle so definitely a project saw perhaps or maybe just great for spares um, yeah so I think that's what this gentleman's done I think he's taken apart this side cover hasn't been able to reassemble the chain brake or fix it and in the meantime has put the one from the 266 on okay guys I'm gonna get the covers back on back in a second hi guys okay I'm back the covers are back on so there they are then. So a couple of things to be aware of. So it might, make, uh, might be an amazing project or perhaps a great source of spares, the SG and this one. Um, there, make sure that's switched off again. Fantastic compression. Definitely needs a new chain. Chain is, like I say, down to the nibs and So, I would say it's got fantastic compression and starts beautifully. <laughs> So it was good to know why the um, be really good to know why it's still idling with the idle screw fully out. So that might be bleeding some air, or that might be um, it might be not metering properly in the carburetor. So bear that in mind. So that's how they are. So they're going up for sale. 
I'm not going to split them up. They arrive together, and so I'm going to um, put both out together. They're going to be advertised for exactly what they came in for against the, the solo chainsaw, and hopefully they could be a really beautiful pair of project saws for somebody. Um, they could be really a beautiful pair of project saws. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Any questions? Please just ask. Bye for now.